matches environment heading into this week, does it feel different than heading into Alabama last year, or is it kind of the same vibe? Uh, I think last year we were more worried about playing Alabama than we are this year. I mean, yeah, we're we're not worried, but I should rephrase that so you don't take it and run with it. We're not worried about who we're playing. We're worried about how we handle each practice individually. So, you know, we're worried about today. We're not worried about Alabama. You know, even though they are a great team and they are the best team that we're going to face this year, we're not worried about them right now. We're worried about getting the, having the best practice that we can today. I know after Tulane, everyone that came up kind of said that you guys were bummed that you had this this off week. Um, I'm just curious, how did, how did you feel the energy was during that off week? Was there <clears throat> sort of a, a conscious effort on your part to make sure that everybody kind of stayed focused? Yeah, for sure. I definitely was just on top of everybody to make sure that, you know, there was no lack of focus going on because, you know, we need to treat it like as if we we're playing Alabama this week, as if we had a game this week. So, I mean, just – just continuing to apply the pressure, even though the pressure's not even there because, you know, we had a break. Matt, you, you talked earlier this season about shutting your social media stuff down and all that. There's a lot of talk out there about this game and about you with the Heisman Trophy and all that kind of stuff. How do you block all that out other than just staying off of social media? Because people are asking you about it all the time. Honestly, they just ask me it when I come into here. But, uh, um, no, I mean, that's like, – like I said, that's not – you know, that's cool, right? It's awesome that people are saying that. But, I mean, it's, it's not a point of focus. It's not – we're not putting any of my – I'm not putting any, any energy in it, into it. So, I mean, the team shouldn't either, and they don't. You know, no one comes up to me and talks about that or, you know, they, you know, here or there, like, dude, that's crazy. I mean, I'm like, and, you know, I'll tell them, bring them back down. Like, yeah, but we still got to do this. We still got to do this. We got to handle this. And, you know, it's just really focusing on the now rather than later. So just being able to lock in to every single detail that we're, what we're worrying about today, that's what's going to make us a better team. Obviously, you know, they, they've got a, a quarterback from Southern California as well. Did, did you have any uh, pre-existing relationship with Bryce? Did, did you know him at all growing up? No, nah, I mean, I didn't have a relationship, but, I mean, we knew each other. Uh, we, were, we were cool with each other. Um, I played him once when uh, when I was at Long Beach in modern, uh, and he was at Modern Day. They killed us. Uh, modern Day is ridiculous. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, so is Alabama. So, I mean – you know, this is it's going to be a great team, uh, great team to go against, and it's going to be fun playing against them for sure. It's your first time playing in front of a hostile crowd. In almost first time years. playing in Bryant Denny. Yeah, first time for Bryant Denny for you. Just what do you do? You look forward to that at all? Do you yeah, absolutely. I mean, I love I love when when the crowd's crazy. I love that, regardless of it's ours or not ours. I mean, just having that energy, it, I love it. That's college football. That's I mean, it's not why I play, but I mean, that's just a big plus. I love it. With the way that uh, Dontario and, and Mingo have kind of broken out this year, what did you see from them over the summer and, and fall camp that kind of led to them playing the way they've played this year? Them coming up to me and asking questions. Um, them constantly being worried about what I'm looking at. Excuse me. Um, just their attention to detail on every single play. When when Drum knows he's the first option, he, he's coming up to me. He's like, what are you looking at? What's, like, what defender are you looking at? And then who am I running my route off of? And you know, just just little questions. Um, is it better if I go a couple more yards to get a bigger window on the over? Or like just little things like that. Like it, it matters. It makes a big difference because he knows what I'm looking at. And now we're on the same page. And, you know, there's a lot of times where me and Elijah didn't really expect to be on the same page. He just kind of went out there and did it and I adjusted. And, you know, that's good. But, you know, that doesn't work all the time. Right. Be, us being able to be on the same page, regardless of what the coaches call, as long as we're on the same page, we're going to be wrong together. You know, that's all that matters. We're going to be on the same page. If it's not open, get to the next progression. If it's not there, take off and run. So, I mean, like just them being able to uh, really realize how, how big of an import, importance it is to pay attention to the details because they realize how big a difference it makes. I think that's the difference this year. Kind of on, on the flip side of that is, you know, maybe Braylon hasn't put up the numbers quite yet that maybe we were expecting. How, how has he kind of handled everything? Is he the same guy every day, no matter what? Definitely. I think Braylon just uh, puts a bigger chip on his shoulder. You know, he's not worried about, uh, you know, who's getting all the attention because he knows 
we all know what kind of, what type of ability Braylon has. Um, you know, it's just whether when that day is going to come, and he's been consistently working. So, you know, it could be this week, could be next week. It doesn't matter, but I fully believe that it's going to happen at some point. I'm going to take questions on Zoom. Will, go ahead. <clears throat> Um, you know, I feel like that, you know, that fun thing you're talking about, you know, is just Coach Levy and Kiffin's, um, that's just them trusting me to get to the right spot. You know, we can keep calling these deep shot plays over and over and over, but if I keep forcing them downfield and us not getting any yards, can't keep running it, you know. So, you know, as long as I keep hitting my check down and keep getting to where I'm supposed to get to, you know, I'm allowing them to keep calling those plays because we're, you know, we're consistently getting yards. Um, you know, and that's just that just comes from a trusting and me being second year in the system. Uh, I think it helps a lot. Matt, what have you seen from Alabama's secondary on film so far, and what do you expect to see on Saturday? Uh, they they got great guys all around. Every single one of them are physical, and they can run with. Um, you know, it's just for us, it's just going to be up going out there and executing and staying within the system, you know, doing nothing different, um, just trusting our rules and trusting our keys and, you know, being able to go execute. Because, like I said, these guys, you know, they, do, they don't get beat very easily. You know, they, they're well-machined defense. And, um it's going to take a lot to bring them down, but uh, it's definitely going to be a tough match for sure.